Hey everybody, welcome back to Upstate Speed Test. Today I just happened to be in Norwich, New York for work. And what we're gonna do is we'll run a speed test here in the heart of downtown Norwich. You got a Verizon Macro right up on top of this roof line here that was just recently upgraded with C-Band and uh, CBRS is down there as well. I haven't been to Norwich since this was turned on, so it'll be very interesting to see the performance of all three providers. We'll test here in downtown and then we'll test a little further out in the outskirts of downtown. We're gonna start with AT&T, 243 loaded, loaded ping time. Sorry, it's extremely cold out today, so my throat's having a field day with that. And uh, AT&T is looking like it's gonna struggle to break 25 down. <clears throat> Almost got to 30. Loaded ping on the down is 2,066. I would say you're almost better off walking the data there yourself. Jitter at 49. Loaded ping on the upload is almost as bad as the down and we got 5.46. Let's try, and again, just for the people that like in-network speed tests, let's try an AT&T wireless speed test down to New York City. <clears throat> And then after that, we'll switch over to recording on the Pixel 9 Pro XL and uh, testing Verizon and T-Mobile. Uh, looks like the AT&T test might fail here. So AT&T needs, uh, needs some help here in downtown Norwich. They may actually still be coming. There's a macro on the outskirts of town where we're gonna test next. AT&T's connection may be coming from that macro. Wow, 1,708. AT&T, uh, you, you need some rural help out here, man. Why don't you ask Verizon nicely if you can join their rooftop over there? Jitter, 1,340. In all my years of running speed tests, I don't think I've seen a jitter that high. At least not one on what should be a functional network. Maybe I've seen it like that at a concert or something. Uh, so 3.4 on the down and two point something, maybe a little over three. Staying in network with AT&T. All right, wow, that was trash. Let's switch over to T-Mobile and then we'll do Verizon last but not least. Today's video is brought to you by Circled In. CircledIn.com lets you split the cost of a wireless family plan from major providers like Verizon, AT&T, or T-Mobile, and even from prepaid providers like Cricket or Google Fi. And now they've even added the capability for you to split the cost of a streaming service from places like Netflix, HBO, Hulu. Check them out at CircledIn.com. Thank you again for supporting the channel. We have switched over to the Pixel 9 Pro XL for recording and the iPhone for speed testing as a giant load of something comes down the street over here. What the heck could that thing be? Oh, you know what? It might be a gas station tank. That's pretty cool. It's got some kind of tape all over it. Anyway, uh, here comes T-Mobile first. Connected to the Pentel data server. Pentel is a... Uh, fiber backbone provider down in PA, so I always expect the results to be pretty good from them. 42 millisecond unloaded ping. Loaded ping times in the 500s, which is um, a little above average for T-Mobile, I would say. Six millisecond pi uh, jitter. We've got a very weak upload, which tells me that T-Mobile may also be coming from the macro on the hilltop on the outskirts of town. Uh, so there you go, there's T-Mobile. We'll do, we'll do the Stenson app next. Oops, didn't mean to do that. That's an old result right there. Start test. Yeah, on my way into town, T-Mobile was definitely the most impressive provider. Uh, I was consistently pulling over a gig 
on T-Mobile. Although I'm sure whatever sector we're connected to here, uh, feeding the heart of downtown Norwich is probably a little more loaded than the 5G the cows were getting on the way in. So there's T-Mobile. Give me one second, I'll switch over to Verizon next. All right, we are back and connected to Verizon Wireless. And again, I'll clean the windshield off. Verizon's got a macro right here in front of us. I fully intended to get you guys some air shots of the town, uh, but the weather is not cooperating. It's, it's very cold, which is making my throat dry. Well, the heat's making my throat dry from the heater, but uh, there's Verizon, 276 on the down, 40 millisecond uh, unloaded ping. Loaded ping times are actually really good for Verizon. You got 310 on the down, 109 on the up. 106 for the upload, which is really good for wireless. Two millisecond jitter. And again, we're kind of kind of cheating a little because the site's right in front of us. But uh, what this test tells me is that Verizon probably has not stepped up the backhaul for this location yet. Let's try another random server. And then I'll do one in-network, just for all the people who like to see the in-network comparison. 53 millisecond unloaded ping. Again, loaded ping time, pretty good for Verizon. We're getting between 140 and 4 something, I would say. Jitter at 13. So yeah, this site, even though they've got mid-band uh, with C-band and CBRS, they need to step the backhaul up, which they've been doing. In Binghamton, there's quite a few sites now that are, are, are getting there. And yeah, let's do one more in-network test here. Verizon, Syracuse, New York. Syracuse is probably about 40-ish minutes from here, I would say. I'll have to look it up. Probably 40 minutes to an hour, something like that. Well, no, because it's an hour from Binghamton. So if we're already, we're pretty much all, already in line with like Cortland. So it's, it's gotta be like 40 minutes, I'd say. 222 on the down, 40 millisecond unloaded, 414 loaded up, 53 loaded, uh, or I'm sorry, 414 loaded down, 53 loaded up, 139 on the upload. It just keeps getting better. Uh, yeah, so there's all three providers here in the heart of downtown Cortland, New York on a super cold and snowy day. And again, sorry about the air shots. I keep trying to do it, but the weather just doesn't cooperate. Uh, it's 19 degrees and the minimum safe operating temperature for my uh, DJI is 13. So we, even if it was clear, we'd be pushing it temperature wise. Uh, yeah, more tests coming up next. In Norwich, New York, or at least we're on the outskirts of Norwich, New York, in a plaza that used to have a, I think that used to be a Kmart a while ago. Uh, I'm here to get my Chinese food and we've got a macro. Again, we're on the outskirts of town. We've got a macro way in the distance on the hill over there. There's an AT&T store and a price chopper right across the street over there. Norwich is a small, very spread out town uh, between, kind of between Syracuse and Binghamton. The next closest town right now is Green, New York. So we're going to start out with AT&T here. Getting the 91 millisecond ping. I'm kind of jealous. It's a little bit better than we get in Binghamton sometimes. And uh, at and is running LTE only. Their coverage between here and Binghamton is actually pretty good. And their speeds are decent, but there's not a whole lot of 5G and no 5G mid-band to speak of. So there you go. You got 91 on the unloaded ping, 512 on the loaded for the down, and 605 on the up. Jitter at 5. Let's do uh, one more test here. Uh, just for fun, we'll do the nperf test. So it looks like the nperf test is kind of bouncing all over the place, but we got 102, 109 on the down for the average. And the upload is going to be five. All right, give me one second. We'll switch over to the iPhone and we will record on the Google Pixel and we'll do Verizon and T-Mobile next. All right, we're recording on the Google Pixel 9 XL. We've got T-Mobile pulled up here, running ultra capacity. And just to uh, get it out there early on, T-Mobile, just to get it out there early on, T-Mobile was killing it on the way up here. 
I was seeing multi-gig speed tests regularly. Very, very few instances where I did not have mid-band uh, service, despite being in a very rural area uh, between Norwich and Binghamton. This is Route 12 right over here, uh, right up there by the gas station. Between here and Binghamton, very, very few times I lost mid-band. It was just incredible. And it's very rural. There's there's nothing but farmland and uh, occasionally a couple houses, uh, especially between Green and Binghamton. It's very, very lightly populated. Uh, let's try one more server for T-Mobile here. And then we'll switch over and do uh, Verizon after that. So we're getting uh, close to a gig on our first test. The second test here going to the Wayne's Highland School District server. Wayne's Highland School District is down in Pennsylvania, not too far from here. 907 on the down, unloaded ping at 39, which is fantastic. Loaded ping times at 489, and uh, looks like we're going to be in the high or low 200s there on the up. 64.6 megabits per second on the upload and 6 millisecond jitter. So T-Mobile crushing it. Let's try the pixel zoom real quick. There's 5x. And now we're up to 20x, whereas the iPhone tops out at about 15. So, you know, the Google Pixel's got some pretty impressive zoom. And, uh, yeah, let's try one more test here. We will do the coverage map app for T-Mobile. 30 millisecond unloaded ping. Unfortunately, coverage map test does not give you the loaded ping times, but that's all right. And again, 902 on the down. Very, very consistent from T-Mobile. Looks like we're getting close to using a gig of data so far and about 50 on the up. Give me one moment. I'm going to switch over to Verizon Wireless and we'll give them a shot. All right, we're back. We got Verizon Wireless fired up and ready to go. Just for all the people that like in-network speed tests, I'm going to start with a Verizon server in Syracuse, New York. So we've got 58 for the unloaded ping. And the uh, loaded ping times are looking really good so far. Under 100, actually. So in the Norwich area, last time I was here, Verizon did not have any mid-band to speak of. And now they do. So it'll. Uh, I'm going to test for you guys here and in downtown Norwich, like I might have already mentioned. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see if the performance is there. And these speeds are really good. Uh, nobody would complain about these but they're not super amazing for mid-band. Uh, the only time you might have a complaint about these speeds is if there's like a big concert in the area or something. Uh, those speeds would get bogged down faster than what we saw with T-Mobile. But yeah, let's run uh, another random test here. This time we'll go out of network down to Pennsylvania. 46 millisecond unloaded ping time. And it looks like we're struggling to push over 300 here. The loaded ping times are really good for Verizon, though. Just over 100 on the down for the loaded ping. And the upload uh, still running, but it's looking like we're going to be either under 200 or just over it. Of course, they say that, and it makes a liar out of me. 54.3 uh, on the up. Very impressive for Verizon. Let's run a uh, coverage map test. trying to get some aerial footage for you guys today, but the weather is not cooperating. It's a balmy 19 degrees outside right now. And uh, we were supposed to be in the negatives today, but it's actually, it's, it's, I think it stayed a little bit warmer than people expected. 180 on the down on the coverage map test, 58.4 on the up. Ping time at 40, which is again, really good for Verizon. Uh, not, uh, no, loaded ping data, unfortunately, on this test, but there you go. So this is uh, Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile here on the outskirts of Norwich, New York, in the former Kmart Plaza up here. And uh, looks like that Harbor Freight is new, too. I don't remember that being there. But uh, there you go, guys. Give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe down below, and we'll see you in the future.